food incognito mode. Food. Food. Uh, uh, yeah? What is food? Why is everyone always taking photos of their food? And how come there are so many free samples these days? If <laughs> people in Africa are starving, why don't they just go to the grocery store? But why is my church so cheap with all the free samples? And why does this tiny rice make my tummy f <laughs> If that's Jesus' body, how many fucking communion wafers do I need to eat? To eat approximately one whole Jesus? <laughs> I can't ever unhear un that. Feel dry. And why are you crying? I saved you a leg piece. All this <laughs> and more on In the Mother Energy. Right, so they've got this Mother Energy drink. Right? I love them. They've got the same caffeine as all the other energy drinks. Mm. But man, they've got this copy on the back. And it is the wankiest copy not ever seen on any product. But it's close to Mother Original. <laughs> Under the stars of the Southern Cross, we live life our what? Life is in perpetual motion. And to slow down is to be left in the dust. The infinite bounds of sunburnt land <laughs> and barreling blue swells are limited only by your imagination. <laughs> Kick out the sand, bump up the tunes, and rip into some mother. Crisp what? and cool with a kaleidoscope blend of flavors, it'll keep the fast time spinning. <laughs> Morning, <laughs> noon, and night. Mother is calling. <laughs> Pursue your dreams. Search for adventure. Get out there and let the good times flow. Whoever wrote this thing, hopefully this video will be large enough that someone connects the dots and Mother Energy gets the message that this shite can't be printed on the back of their hand any longer. <laughs> They've got a great product. They've got the best product. It is like the cheapest energy drink on the market, and it's the best one. The Sour Apple one's pretty good. Is it's it good? A, uh, it's Epic Swell. It's the light blue one. Yeah, you'll like it. you like Sour mm. Get a free mother... I have never heard of this energy drink, and like... I kind of need to try this now. Mobile phone card holder. <laughs> I I don't understand <laughs> what is happening with this. They have the worst marketing of anyone. Yeah. It's like, what, is, what does this pattern mean? It doesn't mean anything. Okay, it's got gothic writing, which is incredibly hard to read. And it looks like it says Wather. <laughs> they put all that shite on the back, and then they go, well, I know how to attract customers. They'll get a free mobile phone card holder. What does it mean? <laughs> a mobile phone card? What's a mobile phone card? Oh, it sticks to your phone and it holds cards. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. So I can lose everything at once. That's helpful. Since 2006, <laughs> Mother's been the trusted brand to give the people of our country the energy to explore, create, have fun, and live life to the fullest. From sunrise to sunset, city to surf, next door to the great outdoors, rooftops to the underground. Uh, it's the same <laughs> shit. I'm just going to list all the places. <laughs> I'm going to list as many contrasting places as I can and knock off early for a cold <laughs> mother. Rip open a mother and keep the good times coming morning, noon, and night. Hashtag always on. Okay, well, so we haven't updated the website <laughs> since 2019. 2019. <laughs> okay. This is like 2000 IQ big brain marketing. I, I kind of love this. So that's well over a year ago now. Wait, wait, I have to check out the Instagram real quick. Is this up to date at least? Last post three days ago. Wow. Okay, so they're still kicking it. I just want to be in the room when they decided that it was going to be called mother. It's just mother. It, it's second cousin. Like it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Good post, guys. You, you, this is someone's job. Who? They're just <laughs> out of ideas. Like, look how many followers it's got. Not very many at all. Mm. This is a fairly small brand. We could totally have influence over these guys. We could <laughs> bully them. I like the idea of just, yeah, taking over a small brand. That would be fun. Just, like, leverage. <laughs> leverage <laughs> <and> just, <laughs> Hold on, boys. Add time. It's Mother Man. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, duh, it's me, Mother Man. I just had sex with your wife. Uh, duh, duh. Suggestions for Mother Man. Uh, it'll be great. The editor will have to do some difficult stuff. <laughs> okay. Mother Man. It's not easy to have it all. When you're a mother and a busy professional, there's just not enough hours in the day. That's why I drink Mother Energy. And my kids. And my husband. And my car. 
Try new Mother Snortables. Put it in your eyes, and your eyes will see twice as quickly. Mom, I'm kind of getting sick of this this energy drink. I like just some some, <laughs> some water. Is there any water? There's in water I'm really and mother. Thirsty. What do you think the main what? ingredient is? <laughs> Soccer mother as well. That goal was legit. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's just simultaneously a mother and a well. I'm not really seeing the man part. I'm seeing a lot of the mother, if you know what I mean. I'm seeing some fucking cans. Yeah, well, that's her tagline. She goes, take a look at my delicious cans. Awful. Oh, <laughs> she's, like, completely oblivious. Yeah, no, she has <laughs> no idea. She's got straws in one hand, and then she's got all the flavors here. Yeah. Mother, of course, she arrives to the scene in the Mother Mobile. Of course. What would that be? It's like uh, an SUV. Yeah, it's an affordable SUV. She's <laughs> racing to the scene to pick up her kids from soccer practice. <laughs> Hey kids, it's me, your mom. She just got done cheating on her husband with the pool boy again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she, no, she's cheating on her husband all the time. And you know she's a custom license plate. Oh yeah, but she couldn't Take. get mother. <laughs> yeah, oh, she's in a hurry. <laughs> mother man, we need- <laughs> Just name it Mumther. <laughs> get Cheem's memes in there. You in the scene. She smashes an entire can of mother and throws it out the window. <laughs> <laughs> just goes through a guy's windshield. <laughs> no, mother man. <laughs> <laughs> There's just chaos. It's like a 16 car pile up behind her. And she just dr continues driving. She finally gets to the scene. Diddle -diddle -diddle -diddle. I've got to save those kids. By the way, this is fine. This photo is taken from a scene where the kids all got out just fine. Otherwise, we wouldn't show this image. Anyway, right. she gets there. Kids <laughs> <laughs> up. The door opens. Four cans fall out. <laughs> you look like you kids could use some refreshing beverages. Wow, Mother Man, you're here. She covers them all in Berry Blast. Yeah, that's the cold one. She, she shakes it up and sprays it all over them. This thin coating of liquid energy will completely protect you from the fire. But there's one kid who's like, oh, I can't, mother man. What's wrong, Steve? I'm diabetic. She just goes flat face like her smile drops. Drink the fucking can, Steve. What are you talking about? Diabetes is a myth. Just drink the mother. No, it's fine. She's got the sugar free, so he gets one of those. <laughs> oh, it's on an empty stomach. My tummy really hurts. Well, the kid throws up and she's like, Drink it. Drink your vomit. <laughs> the mother made me do it. Okay. What does that mean? This is terrible. I mean, the, but you still drink it. So what does that say about you? Oh, well, it tastes good. Best <laughs> it drunk is... freeze your nuts <laughs> off cold. What? It's just like a random mesh of words together. Yeah. Oh, so they've gone, oh man, it's best drunk cold. Yeah, oh, we'll say something edgy like freeze your nuts off. Yeah, okay, cool. I'll make that into a sentence. Best <laughs> drunk freeze your nuts <laughs> off. Old. And then you scroll up a little bit and it's like, also we have fish derivatives. <laughs> what is the fish derivative? <laughs> we contain blended fish lips for your convenience. Contact yeah, us. Yeah. Can, we, can we send them an email about All that? All right, so what's my first name? Um, Derek Fastman. Yeah, that's pretty stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Max? S S speed. <laughs> Like, or something, you know, like... <laughs> Life Liverson. <laughs> this could end one of two ways. Mother. It ends up with the mother company destroyed or a lucrative sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> We're going all in. Because we recorded a lot of nice things about it. We did. But if you don't fix that copy, that, that uh, audio is not getting released. That's right. Okay. So... Long story short, I was spinning in perpetual motion, so as to not be left into the dust, of course. And the good times were seemingly never ceasing, until, to my shock, my mouth was full of... Fuck, how do you spell kaleidoscopes? My whole world came right down. From sunrise to sunset, city to surf, next door to the greater... Uh, let's just remove one of these. It would never be the same again. Wait, hold on. Hold on a second. I'm getting a call. It's Mother. Yes, Mother. I'll be right there. All right, I guess we just send this and just... Yeah, have for the best. <laughs> the interesting thing about this as well is... Cut! Cut! That's it, you've been talking about Mother for two hours. We're not doing this, we're moving on. I don't want to edit a whole video of nothing but Mother. Moving on! I kind of want one, though. <laughs> wow. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Nordman here. And today we're going out on the streets to do some serving Excuse me, sir. Could you... Could you load up Netflix on your phone? Yeah, sure, I guess. It's connected to Netflix Iceland. <laughs> you just got pranked so hard. We've just connected your phone to one of Nord's thousands of international servers. Now you can access content from all over the globe. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, buy the merch. You're on Nord, Frank. Hey, girl. 
You want to do scissors, paper, rock for a kiss? Gross, get away from me. Suit yourself. Guess I'll see if someone else wants to be one. I'm actually just speechless. His ad reads always just, I'm speechless. Of the six devices on my NordVPN account. Actually, now that you mention it, I kind of do. Too late. <laughs> you had your chance. You just got Nord Tran. What's up, guys? We just stole this dog, and we're gonna hold him to ransom. Don't no, use no. NordVPN so no one can find our location. Actually, I forgot to turn on NordVPN. All right, guys, oh. that's the end of the video. Big thanks to NordVPN. They're the ones who keep approving these ads. No, I know. Go to nordvpn.com slash incog- I saw the elevator and I just knew. I saw the elevator and I'm like, oh dear god, he's not gonna go there. And then it did. It, it, it just, no rushing just happened. I wonder if I could even stream that on Twitch. I don't- I think they- I think they might be very upset to, uh, if I were to stream old Modern Warfare 2. Nito for a huge deal off a two-year plan. Fruit. We had a game what? at school. It was called fruit bagging. I'm intrigued. So what, what you do is you find a relatively thin tree, yeah. you know, something yeah. around sort of six inches in diameter, okay. something like that. Mm. You get a plastic bag and you get a nice ripe fruit like this one. And you put it in the plastic bag and then you swing it around as hard as you can. And then you hit the tree. Yeah. The plastic bag then wants to wrap around the tree right. of with a lot of force. Mm. And it is absolutely unpredictable in which direction the fruit will burst out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a roulette, like you're all standing in a circle. Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. And nobody knows who's going to get fucking beamed. It's brilliant. <laughs> That's amazing. Kids inventing Russian roulette. I love that. Hold on. So stripper cakes, right? Yes. Wait, Are what? you supposed to eat the stripper cake? It's just made of cardboard, right? Wouldn't you spot... Are you going to say you mean to eat the stripper? <laughs> Surely they're not made of real cake. Otherwise, you would have to do a ton of labor on the outside. Just the fuck you mean it wouldn't be... I, I would pay for real cake. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. But you can spot a cardboard cake a mile away. <laughs> I don't know what kind of Bundy cardboard cake factory you've been going to. Have you seen a stripper cake in real life? Uh, I've seen a stripper, but I haven't <laughs> seen a cake. But I can imagine... Was she eating cake? Uh, <laughs> no, she was jiggling around a lot, and I um, I watched in awe. Did you eat cake? Maybe. Stop it! No! Do you know if you go through the McDonald's drive through at 3am, they'll do literally anything you ask. If Wait, really?! Oh boy. <laughs> well, I mean, the one around here isn't open past, like, 10. Because everything in Idaho, like, shuts down past 10 o'clock. Wait, when was this filmed, actually? If this was 2023, two years ago, so this was 2021, things things were starting to shut down. God damn. If you go up to the little box, you can just say to put anything in a burger, and they'll do it. There's all sorts of things that you can also ask for that aren't on the menu. Like, you can ask for a cup of pickles, and they'll just do it. <laughs> this is this is interesting information. Very interesting information, Kiwi. This is interesting information I have been given. A cup of pickles. Yeah. So here we've tr been trying to get rid of these fucking things for days. <laughs> we got jars of the stuff, and more keeps coming. <laughs> I do have a McDonald's manager who just doesn't understand how the supply chain works. Where does all this keep coming from? This fridge is a fool, damn it. <laughs> and walking out into the restaurant area with just boxes of frozen meat. He's like, do you want this? It just keeps showing up. It seems like my whole adult life, it's a 50-50 chance whether the ice cream machine is out of service. <laughs> I don't believe that the technology has not improved such that you cannot... For example, clean the ice cream machine within 10 minutes and have it up and running again and only need to clean it twice a day, at most. McDonald's, we're fucking coming for you. Like, I want to know what's actually happening. So isn't part of that actually the, like, Lewis, Lewis Rossman right to repair thing? Wasn't it that the ice cream machines being down was a specific right to repair thing and the tools and contract was only being held by the people that actually owned the machines and they were the only ones that were authorized to operate on the machines or avoided a warranty or something like that? Um, yeah, the machinery is actually, yes, incredibly complex, yes. No, 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 it, it's more than like, oh, we're just gonna go wipe it down or, or, or clean it like a flat girl, right? It, it is 
right to repair is definitely an argument that has been happening for a while, and that is part of that. Uh, cleaning cycle takes forever as well. Yes, yeah. There, there, there's more factors at play here contextually. I happen to have a little background on that. Because I don't believe that the machine is out of service. I think that they're covering up for something. <laughs> so for some reason, they don't want to serve ice cream at particular times. Oh, sure. <laughs> like, they go there just for ice cream. Yeah. But then you say they're broken, and they're too awkward to back out at this point. Exactly. So you still got your, like, oh, here's a 50-cent cone, guys, and it costs them, like, you know, 45 cents to make, so the margin on it's way too low. But then, oh, well, sorry, guys, it's broken. you got to order yeah. whatever else he gets. Oh, I have fries and a cheeseburger then. <laughs> All of a sudden, dollar margin. I hope I'm just melting down the cheese in my palate. Mm. Maybe I'll put... I've, I've seen these. It's wild what they do to make food and advertisement look fucking wild. Uh, Kiwi says there's a lot of small parts and then it has to be drained and all parts have to be dried and lubed before it gets put back together. Yes, 100%. Very tedious process as well as allegedly certain companies only being able to work on them and fuck knows when they'll get out to the location. <laughs> Uh, brother went to McDonald's and tried to get a McFlurry, then they spotted a guy using the ice cream machine, and you're just like, FUCKING LIAR! <laughs> mustard, this burger's better put together than I Actually, am right ketchup, now. ketchup, mustard, ketchup. Holy wow. Shit. You're kidding me. Oh. Oh, cheating! Enhancing some color, taking out... You fucking lies. I want to see what the comments say for that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they were wise to it! They knew! I really want to go, maybe that's one of the things that I'll put together is fast food company videos like this that have the comments turned off just to look at that. Woo! <laughs> oh, cowards. Oh, cowards. Oh, hold on. French. French. What? Agents to conservation, artificiales. Oh, if we have one of those Twitch groups, you know, like offline TV or one of those yeah. things, we should be agents <laughs> to conservation, artificiales. <laughs> it's quite good. I do like that. They're, they does sound pretty cool, actually. And then our acronym will be SAMS. <laughs> <laughs> like each of those letters doesn't correspond. <laughs> with the I gotta diverge for a moment. I can always tell when a fucking movie or video game is gonna do badly. When they have a title like that. Reckoning Kingdoms of Amalur. Yes, yep. And I think, oh, it's gonna fail. Yeah. Like, I don't even need to look at the poster. I don't need to look at the reviews. I just know it will do badly. Because they just couldn't pick a fucking name. There was one that came close, but did actually do well. Bro, just call it Kingdom Come. That, yeah. That's fine. You don't need... I hate, I hate that the colons, eh? Oh. I guess they're either expecting, like, a sequel, or they think it looks more authentic or something. Authentic, yeah. Kina, Bridges... Right. Don't call, just call it Kena. Here's a worse one, okay? And this one just came out recently. Werewolf, the <laughs> Apocalypse, Earthblood. It's Hyphen. got two of them. It's got no! two of them. How cool would it have been if it was just called Werewolf? Yeah, I guarantee this will fail. We'll get some person in the comment section who'll go, Um, actually, it did all right in uh, Japan and... Rayquaza. Blah, blah, blah. No. Was that a fucking Rayquaza reference? Jesus Christ, are you serious? Um, actually, Rayquaza is an original Pokemon. Rayquaza being one of my favorite Pokemon of all times. I actually need to see when we get it in uh, Scarlet and Violet. I, I will be probably maining a team of it. Uh, no, no, no. They, they want these things to go fucking gangbusters. It's not going to be the New York Times bestseller it's dying to be. Thank you. Squid! Have you ever seen how people kill squid? No. No. It's kind of weird. You, you just give them a karate chop. It's what? Really strange. Oh, really? Watch this. <laughs> what? That's it. It's dead. Damn. It didn't even hit him hard. Yeah. It's just a literal, like, karate touch of death. <laughs> yeah. Ha. Like, huh. You would feel kind of badass. I remember one time I was a kid, we were fishing at this lake in the, in the town that I'm from, and one of my friends fished up a f this little fish. I don't know if we were, like, meant to have a knife or what the fuck happened, but he just <laughs> bashed it on a rock. <laughs> it was, like, his way of killing it. And I remember thinking, that's, oh. that's um, not good. I mean, it worked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that fish is no longer alive. You know what those things at the front look like? What? Have you seen those, like, spice markets in India where they have the giant cones? What's up with that? Why don't That's they fall over? Have amazing. you ever just slightly bumped something in a shop and yeah. it just 
flies everywhere. Maybe that's the plan. <laughs> have it so that someone goes, oh, I'll have one scoop, please. And then the whole thing collapses. They're like, what have you done? You've ruined my setup. You you have to pay for yeah. this. Yeah, that, oh, that would almost be like a scam. Yeah, that's What tough. happens when a mild breeze comes along and yeah. blows these guys' stupid dunce hats away? That's ridiculous. Or Yes, saffron is stupid expensive. Actual cinnamon, from my understanding, not fake cinnamon. Actual cinnamon is also incredibly expensive. Do you reckon it's like fake? It's just a big cardboard cone with like some glue and some <laughs> seasoning on it. I'm starting to think more and more these are just for show. TikTok, I need a DIY right the fuck now on how these work. Like, how does he pack it up at the end of the day without... Because you never see ones that are half cut. What's this scene? <laughs> what oh, it's, it's... It's cardboard. You reckon it's fake? I reckon they're all fake. That's fine. Wait, did that guy... <laughs> roll it, roll the footage back like 15 seconds. This guy on the in the middle. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 There's going to be this, like, totally innocuous 1,000 view video, and he was one extra, and now he's fucking famous for <laughs> dropping his phone when on a date with a lady. Is this like the Indian David Blaine? Is he doing magic tricks? Is he about to steal her watch? This guy is absolutely mind-freaking right now. This, this is Indian David Blaine. He's got the God, is Chris Angel even doing shit anymore? Like, I remember when Chris Angel was, like, the shit. Like, people talked about him. Fuck, man. I'm going back to like fucking 06, 07 right now. God, I'm old. Open show, he's got the chain. Watch, I will shall make this date disappear. Date! I got well, it! Well, yeah, I mean, he just <laughs> dropped it on the fucking ground. Are you stupid? I love that title. All caps. This isn't food. This is unbelievable art. Stop it's it. It's only art until it's eaten. Stop all your head. comes quite the opposite. <laughs> you know, I wonder if that would be a gimmick in the future. Like, um you eat these like capsules that are just filled with food dye concentrated food dye yeah and then they just turn everything <laughs> blue or something <laughs> yes yeah. it's what those wealthy people do <laughs> it's like what the rich people in the hunger games would do it yes like they're just doing these creepy things just to like flex on poor people uh, you know you're a guest at someone else's house it's like a dinner party and then someone walks into the bathroom and there's like this blue stain down the side. <laughs> Who the hell did this? And then like, everybody puts up their hand. It was, it was blue, you say. Oh, it was mine. It's not, no, it was mine. Oh, you're on the blue as well. Oh. It kind of becomes like a bit of a bonding. And there's different tiers depending on how fucking much money you have. Like the red will be the cheap end and then the blue. The blue's going to be, you know, the, the couple thousand dollar range. But oh, don't get me started on fucking like orange for some fucking reason. Orange will be like, you know, five to seven thousand dollar range. Purple though. Purple's the color of royalty. I mean, you'll get a solid 10k fucking, uh, uh 10k... <laughs> Pill right there, and if you want gold, you're paying primo 25k a piece. I hate that this could actually fucking see play in modern society. This is actually both entertaining and terrifying. Moment. You really have to try this new brand I got. The blue is so much more vibrant. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've got the um vegan friendly. Oh, of course. <laughs> yes, it's made of uh. uh copper sulfate oh of course my one's made of paint so that sounds much wait 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 copper sulfate copper so it's copper and sulfate. i'm trying to see if it's toxic or not i'm probably gonna be on fbi watch list actually after looking at this hold up is copper sulfate toxic uh, ingestion of poison can be lethal in severe cases. Is a powerful oxidizing agent independent on the dose ingested. It can be lead to widespread cellular damage. The systematic effects of poison you see primarily in red blood cells, gastrointestinal system, kidneys, and the cardiovascular system. Do not! Do not! Schneider. <laughs> That'll do a number on your kidneys. It's destroyed it. Jesus. Sorry. Oh. She's so genuinely disgusted. I want to see that reaction again. I've just destroyed it. <laughs> Well, how close was it to it? <laughs> Not at all. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this just works on so many levels. So we laugh, but if you play Assassin's Creed Unity, right, you know the green dresses? Weren't those green dresses, like, literally arsenic? And, like, there's, there's makeup that's been arsenic-based in the past? Literally just people poisoning themselves throughout history. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. One pound burger in one sitting. Uh, clearly the sulfate, because I'm doing fine right now after eating that one pound burger. <laughs> so it's me mining in Minecraft. <laughs>
me no i'm always surprised by prawns like how pink they turn out because i'm always like oh i guess i got the kind of prawns that aren't pink mm. <laughs> and then you cook them and then, <laughs> yeah, and then, yeah, they turn <laughs> yeah what's pink. up with that it's not like people turn a different color really when they get so in raw form human meat looks like beef but slightly rest fed with pale yellow fat when roast when roasted <laughs> the meat turns grayish as would lamb or veal and smelled like cooked beef <laughs> tampa bay.com damn it florida <laughs> Why does you would flip? No! Cook, cool. maybe they do. <laughs> Let's find out. Beef goes kind of grey. Pork goes kind of grey as yeah. well. Chicken goes white. Yeah, chicken goes white. Yeah. yeah, why did prawns go orange? They just picked a colour, didn't they? Yeah, they just, they're like completely... Do you like... reckon like a cooked flamingo would just go more pink then? Or do you reckon <laughs> it would go like red? Well, because they are pink from eating so many shrimp, isn't it? I heard that. I so why think... do crustaceans turn red when they're cooked? Lobsters and crabs have a pigment called a and thin in their shells, which has the ability to absorb blue light, making the shell appear red under certain conditions. So there's your answer. It's that they have a pigment called astaxanthin in their shells. Um, interesting. Okay. That's actually kind of interesting. On heating proteins, denature, releasing their grip on the pigment molecules, unshackled the pigment molecules, uh, promptly turn red. Fascinating shit here. I think it's actually true. I want to pick out I, shrimp. Yeah, I want to say that that's not true. Why aren't the flamingos that are in the zoo also not pink? Oh, right. They feed them pellets. Okay, I was wrong. Oh. Oh, they're already doing the rich person die. Oh, no. Oh, no! <laughs> Our birds aren't pink enough. Bring out the pellets. <laughs> so, in theory, could you just feed them different colors? <laughs> <laughs> That's the real rich person, how they've got like a rainbow flamingo set up. Yes. Thank you, many kudos for coming on the show. I can't believe this was your first time. I, God. I've been, I'm in and the background we, of every previous one, if you look closely. And then we did this all in one recording in, in half an hour. Oh, no edit. This was such a natural... All right, well, I'm walking into uh, this school uh, now okay. with a gun. And no! Oh, put that away. Swap it out oh, for a sorry. baguette. Oh, all right, all right. We can't it's say a, that. A, uh, <laughs> okay, all right. That's uh, always well, been a baguette. It has never for our legal team. Okay, I mean, legal I'm going team, into this always... maternity ward with a cigarette, and I'm yes, gonna. That's that was socially <laughs> acceptable until the nineties. Uh, yes, no, no, this skit was set during the eighties. We're well, good. Many uh, don't thank you for uh, coming in a beautiful sundress. And think, think... Uh, I got this from Cotton on. <laughs> Some it sheen. Was cheap. Well, um, <laughs> Mika, I can't, I can't. for wearing that, that beautiful overalls with one of the <laughs> that came out as gay in this Revealing episode. Your your, it's really going to be a surprise for your partner there. Thank you for <laughs> mimicking American Gothic with me. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> I see American Gothic and all I can think about is Rocky Horror Picture Show. Uh, anyway, on a more serious note, uh, congratulations, man, on, on making it three weeks sober. Thank um, you. Nice. Yeah, you know, I know that was a that was a big. We had to cut that from the recording. You've had you've had some bad um, luck. Samito got uh, he got cancer or COVID or whatever. Fuck. You know, what? Really bad. Yeah, it was um, testicular cancer. Who would have thought? He, I heard wow. he had both testicles removed. Yeah, no, he's the Lance Armstrong of YouTube. <laughs> well, no, the funny thing is, they didn't actually remove them, but they're just really, really <laughs> small now, and it makes him talk in a slightly different. <laughs> pitch. It sounds like the audio is just being mm. pitch shifted, but that's actually his voice. Burger King. Uh, can you believe it? He lost his balls, and then ordinary things lost his nose not a lot of people know that because Mito had such a bad immune system we've we've had to replace him yeah uh with you so uh that's a shame yeah I, um, you clearly got someone very similar in appearance <laughs> well, hold on hold on we're about and Sumito White. Don't. There we go. Hey, how come you're so tense? Don't edit my gift. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm walking into the school now, the one you were All walking right. into before. I'm going back into Joseph Fritzl's attic. Okay. Oh. What? <laughs> I'm delivering Uber Eats to Joseph Fritzl's attic. Five star rating. I'll make sure to Thank give you a tip. Thank you. Thank you. The joke is lost on me. Come again. What the fuck? God, I need to be watching more incognito mode. That was fucking wild. Uh, did some cursory research. Some spice cones are real, mostly denoted by a shallower angles and scoops in the cone for measuring out spice. The more steep and tall ones are fake cones with a layer of spice glued on it. Fascinating. Thank you for sharing that. I definitely appreciate that, Tamsin. That uh, salmon meat is actually gray. It's dyed pink. I'd have to look more into that. I thought salmon did cook red. That's very interesting. 